workout complete. That workout was so good, but I am quite sweaty and I need to get in the shower because it's so nice out and I want to just enjoy the beautiful summer day. I'm partnering with Lush on this video. I really love their messaging around sustainability and rewilding your everyday routine. And that's something that we can start just in the bathroom by making sure that the products that we use, we can probably be a little bit more conscious of what they are made out of and what their sources of ingredients are. That's why I love Lush because they are really conscious and that's like their biggest mission, taking care of the environment and taking care of our skin and bodies. Starting with good karma, everybody needs some shower gel. I cannot begin to tell you how incredible my showers have felt and smelt since I've been using this. This shower gel is also very special because the dark patchouli oil it's made from directly provides a healthier habitat for orangutans through its ecologically friendly farming techniques. Out of the shower, the sleepy body lotion makes my skin feel and smell incredible and it's all because of the organic lavender oil. The supplier in Bulgaria that provides the lavender oil uses organic biodiverse farming practices which ensure the local bee population thrives and I love knowing that as I'm smelling it on my skin. I'm gonna make some breakfast and I have a very, very specific craving today. I don't know if any of you watched the show, The Bear. It's on Hulu. It's an amazing show. I highly recommend you watch it if you haven't yet. Sydney, who is one of the characters, she went to like a bunch of different restaurants and like tried a bunch of different like foods and dishes and things and it just looked like so delicious. But in one of them, she was eating a banana split like a banana split ice cream sundae. I actually never had a traditional one, so I gotta get on that. But I'm gonna make a breakfast banana split, okay? So we got some bananas, and I'm gonna use yogurt as like the little, like in-between situation, and then some fruit and like a drizzle of peanut butter to like add a little saltiness. I don't know, maybe like, go crazy with a little olive oil on it, make it a little bit gourmet. <laughs> I don't know, but um, I just have been craving that recently. So I'm gonna make this banana split. I was gonna make a coffee, but then honestly, like this looks so good that I just can't contain myself. I also found some very stale granola in my cupboard, so I added that. Mmm. Mmm. Banana splits for breakfast. do the adult thing and put this laundry away. I hate, if there's one chore I hate the most, it's laundry. Like I'll do the dishes, I'll vacuum, I'll like clean up, organize, but laundry? No. I'm gonna get ready to run a few errands. Today is a really chill day for me. I do have a few things that I gotta do today, um, but it's mostly gonna be a nice and well-deserved 
day to chill. Kind of crazy to think that these are some of the last few videos in this apartment. I know a lot of people are saying, what, you're moving again? Like, didn't you just move into this apartment? I know I haven't really talked much about what we're actually doing in terms of moving. And some of you are like, wait, did she say where she's moving to? Like, I don't know why some people know where she's moving and why people so don't know. Like, did I miss it? Whatever. You didn't miss it. I just haven't really talked about it because I'm making a whole video about moving, why we're moving, more specifically, all the details of where we're going and what's gonna be happening and all that stuff because it's gonna be a big change for both Yoni and I, but especially for like you guys and my job and YouTube and all of that. So I haven't really talked about it yet because I wanna make a whole video that explains it more. If anybody cares, I don't wanna seem like, oh my God, I'm moving and everyone cares what I'm going to do. Um, I don't mean to sound like that at all, but if you are curious at all and or you're confused, um, I am going to put together a whole little video to make sense of everything. But we also need to go to the post office because I am selling a bunch of clothes also through Depop and Vestiaire or Vestiaire and uh, Poshmark and like all the places just trying to get rid of as many things as possible and it's just making me realize how I need to like shop more consciously and even though I already shop secondhand a lot I still think it's important even if it's thrifted or secondhand or whatever like you can st I can still do a better job at being more selective and after the post office we are going to the hardware store on the way home because we need to pack more things and today out of all days is the perfect day to do that okay I need my keys <sighs> My phone, gotta get my sunglasses on. So here we are. And gotta grab the phone. Gotta do that inventory, you know, before you leave your apartment. Little, little spritz. I think we're ready to go. Are we ready to go? We're ready to go. <laughs> not to choose this I mean come on scream summer in my mouth okay now we're getting to business so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack up take these boxes that I have right here and we're going to pack up all of the winter things that we're gonna have my parents send over to us once we're situated in whatever next apartment we have
we're making lunch. But first, gotta wash these hands because they've been out and about today. Every time I wash my hands with this soap, I gotta smell it. It smells amazing. And also like, it's so beautiful. This is the Lush Outback Mate Soap. It's actually a hand soap, but it's also a body soap. So you can use it in the shower and the scent is like eucalyptus and a little bit of mint. It's made with coconut oil instead of the usual palm oil. And the coconut oil that comes from Indonesia is harvested in a sustainable way to make sure that it actually protects the marine life in Indonesia and especially the little turtles, which I think speaks so much to Lush as a company as I've talked about before and how they care about where their ingredients come from. And I think that similarly, I really care about the types of foods and ingredients that I put in my body and where it comes from and how it was grown. Similarly, Lush really takes pride in caring about so many things when it comes to their ethics, such as like workers' rights and obviously the environment and everything that encompasses that and animal protection and animal rights and it's commandable. And I really am so happy to be partnering with them. Now that my hands are clean, I also just got home. I'm gonna make both of us a little lunch. I got this burrata. I've been really in a fruity mood today and I have these two peaches, yellow peaches. I'm thinking we're gonna do like a little burrata peach tomato. I've got these two heirloom tomatoes. Um, caprese salad with a little basil. Just really my summer vibes today. All fresh, um, especially because like after coming out, coming home from being so hot out, I can't like turn on the stove. Um, I'm gonna add a little balsamic glaze. If you guys know, if you don't know, now you know. Get yourself a balsamic glaze. It goes on everything. It's so delicious. I would literally just eat it like straight out of the tub. Um, yeah, you know, just keeping it simple, a little salt and pepper. And actually, to make it more substantial, I love this olive oil bread. I'm obsessed with olive fugace. Is this type of like black olive ciabatta style bread and they have it at Trader Joe's and it comes in these little like sticks that are connected and you can cut it and it's so delicious. Get a little drinky drink, make a quick lunchy lunch. <laughs> you felt it coming, right? I'm also gonna add a few of these tiny little tomatoes. Wait, hold on. I cannot, I cannot contain myself. Mmm! Babe, let me give you a slice of tomato right now. Okay, right? Mmm, mmm! Is that vegetable? Can I get another one? No. <laughs> you gotta come get it if you want it. It's a different species. Mm. Here, have it with a little bit of this. This recipe somewhere in, 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 the, in the description. Yeah, this is like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So, I'm just getting ready, putting on or I should say reapplying some sunscreen because I signed my sister and my mom and I up for a yoga in the park. Um, I've actually never been 
and I've always wanted to go and it's only in the summertime and it is so hot outside like I want to say 85 degrees which honestly makes sense because this is usually a hot yoga place like a hot yoga studio and the classes are free um, and they're every Thursday if you're in Seattle definitely check it out I think it's called Bala Yoga and it's until September um, and it's free to attend as long as you just like sign up in time gotta apply the body sunscreen but I'm so excited except I kind of wish it wasn't this hot out to be honest like it's a little it's a little much and I just want to make sure I don't burn especially because I've been out in the sun like all day the class is at Gasworks Park which is so beautiful and it's overseeing the city and you like do yoga and look out across the water and you see all of Seattle's like skyline of downtown and it's gonna be so pretty and I had to invite my mom and my sister because I'm trying to spend as much time as I have with them while we're still here um, and obviously my dad and my brother so we're gonna hang out with them this weekend but this is more of a girls thing probably not the best idea to put on a black shirt but it is all good. My little mat. And we're ready to go. <laughs> exfoliating regularly especially in the summertime and the lush ocean salt is both a face and body scrub but I love using it in the shower it leaves my skin so soft and ingrown hair free which is a big and important thing for me and I also love knowing that the supplier in Mexico helps protect nearby wetland ecosystems while using bird-friendly practices if you haven't been using a body conditioner I really think you should Rose Argan offers big time hydration in the shower while also protecting the big cats because the Brazilian oil used in Rose Argan is sourced from the Peruvian Amazon where Lush actually works with a team of rangers to ensure that all live wild animals are protected against all threats. You know how it is in the summertime, you're outside all day and you just have to take several showers, especially today because my face and my entire body was just like out in the sun multiple times. I just wanna give it a little extra TLC. So I'm gonna do a little mask. This is the Beauty Sleep mask and it kind of looks like a smoothie. It smells amazing, it's made with tonka. It's supposed to be like, you know, very relaxing for the skin. Especially a face mask, but also a body mask. So you can like use it anywhere on your body if you want to but I've honestly had such a lovely day and such a relaxing shower I love taking time in the shower a little bit more sometimes especially because for me like showering at the end of the day really makes me feel like I'm just washing away the day I keep this on for 15 minutes but I did want to mention that um, Lush has a pot recycling program so you can take any of their pots back to the store and you can get 50 cents per pot and that 50 cents can go back into whatever next order that you purchase at Lush. And it's amazing because they recycle them and um, I think it's a really, really, really important step in any type of products that we consume. I kind of look a little crazy right now. If you only came home, he would be like, babe, what are you doing? But I don't care because this is self-care, people. This is rewilding our routine. This is getting in touch 
with ourselves and with the earth and the wild and the sun and the skies and all the vibes. I was really feeling that vibe today. I'm gonna give myself a glass of water because again, hydration. And then we're literally going to wash this off and go to bed. It's been a long day. I feel very accomplished. I feel very, very good. Good night.